studying. So we're cutting to the game now. Yeah. And uh, let's see what kind of words you know, Morris. Let's. Uh, why don't you put your money where your mouth is? I think he is. We we'll, uh, we will see. I'm All right. So hat here. Annette gets to play first in this one, and we're gonna do our best to try to keep the stream uh, up to pace with the rest of the game. Sometimes we drag a little bit behind, so we're starting yeah. right on time with the rest of the play today. Where's that D? Oh, that's a yeah. U. Okay. E-I-L-O-P-U-U, -U, and Annette already showing you what not to do in Scrabble. Draw this rack. There's one play worth making, otherwise you exchange, and Annette's wasted no time to set it up. Nice. Poilu, rather obscure five, but a beautiful five. Gets you out of terrible wrecks exactly like this one. Still keeping a U, though. No, I'm kidding. That's the right, right thing. Right, right. Yeah, we love keeping <laughs> you on our rack on this stream. We're here for it. So, uh, Morris now to respond after that opening. E I I N N N O. Morris also showing you what not to do. Uh, draw this. That P is going to give him his best scoring options. A uh, number of them available. I think the standout play here is Pinion. P I N I O N. There's also Nine Pin if you really want to play off all of your ends and show off that word knowledge that allegedly, allegedly you now have, Morris. But 9-pin, I think, is just an inferior play. You don't want to hold an O when you can hold E-N for just a two-point de delta between them. Do you know the other pin word that is good? And by that, I mean it's a sticky S. I mean 10-pin. 10-pin. Oh, the, the, um, yeah, there's 10-pin, 9-pin, and... No? I think 5-pins? Five five, I, I think it's a sticky S. 5-pins. Sticky S? That is awesome. I think it's CWL, right? Yep. Yeah. Five pins is a sticky yes. Nine pin and <laughs> ten pin are not sticky yes. Welcome to competitive Scrabble, folks, where you just kind of have to memorize this stuff, and the top players are able to do it better than anybody else. Yeah. And thank you uh, to our our raiders and heroine to birds raiding with some folks. It's a few people who are almost certainly already here. Well, thank you just the same. Um, thank you for being a heroine to birds. We'd love to play some wingspan with you in the future. Um, Heroines to Bird is another uh, another Scrabble streamer. So uh, oh, and you know, and you know who they are. Yes, I oh, do know this B, one. Yes, you do know this one. I do know this one. Um, right. So, do you oh, love Scrabble? Oh, oh he's sure. Mor Mor Morris is flexing on us here. All right, Morris, make a bad play, but show off the word. Hey, I, mean, I think process. it's a pretty good play. It's. I think it's the Pin second best Pinia play. Pinion is the second best play. But Pinion, I think, is much better in my opinion. Yep. But alas, uh, you do what you do. So nine pin comes down, and Annette now to respond that you left on her rack is going to muck up what could otherwise be a decent opportunity for her. And uh, I think Y O U and U N is like so uninspiring. Uh, there's an Anuye, I see. Anui Anui E N N U Y E, which takes an E. Does take a back E, um, but that plays through the N, the bottom end in nine pin yeah. hits that triple letter square. It's not a flashy score. It's only nineteen, but this is a terrible rack. I'm gonna uh, challenge Morris on too much Volost. He could play Volost next turn though. He he's could got, play Volost. He's, he's got to cha change seven. Yeah. Oh man. So uh, Annette looking to break up this YU combination, a number of words that can do that, um, but she'll have to do something here. Uh, it's got to be YOU or Ennui, right? Yeah, which one would you take? I always play the tiles. Okay. So I'd play the long one because I like getting rid of tiles. Yeah. The, and also, the more tiles you play, the faster the game ends and the sooner you can get away. It would also be interesting if you played it on the through the second N in 9-pin, perhaps... Uh, Morris doesn't know that it only takes the E, not Ness, or something like, you know, maybe something strange happens here. Yeah, this this is, depending on your opponent, this I think can be a good test. If you know that Unwe takes the back E, and you're not sure your opponent does, you need to play this on top and set up a spot for you to crush a big six. Yeah. Uh, if you're not sure, or you assume your opponent does know, I think just in a vacuum, the bottom spot is better, but... Word knowledge check for sure. I think there's nothing wrong with this play. E E N R is a decent leave. Um, can go one of two ways. But if she draws a bingo, she's going to be fe feeling really good about this one. And if she draws some vowels, eek. Yeah. But we'll see. Uh, nothing wrong with Y O U. Kind of a stylistic decision. Are we going to see Vogue? Are we going to see Vogue? Or are we going to see Vogue? Unless Gov has been. I don't yeah. think that's this. No. Collins. I don't know why Vogue hasn't already been played. V O G in the top left quarter, make an O Y and G O. Yeah, it opens a huge, huge opportunity down that triple word score, and you've got to assume Annette's kind of in bingo range. She plays Y O U for yeah. fourteen, but she drew W U, which seems to be pretty uh, 
consistent. At, at this point, I'm convinced of two things with this board one tile bag. One, the W and the U have magnets and stick to each other. And two, the blanks are weighted heavier than the rest of the tiles and sit yeah. right there at the bottom of the bag. I just, the number of times Conrad and I have seen WU come out together, the number of times blanks have been the last 20 tiles or so out of the bag, um, you know, uh, it, it just, it's uncanny. Oh, so Morris is going to play Vogs. He's going to burn that S to avoid giving up huge bingo opportunities. And hey, if you've got a net pinned on bingo range, nine, I suppose nine, it makes sense. Pins. But that's a huge sacrifice. Yeah. And a big, big, maybe waste of an S. Just five extra points, block the spot. But eh, interesting decision there. One I would not have made. Yeah, I probably would have kept it. But just the same, he does have a couple of solid... Uh, plays or a couple of solid non bingo lanes, non bingo lanes, non S dependent bingo lanes. I swear I can talk um, that he could potentially hit in the future, but I'd really want to have an S right about now in his rack instead of what he ended up with, though. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. A questionable decision by Morris, one that I'm not a fan of, but your mileage may vary. Morris, an incredibly smart guy, and I'm uh, certain, I mean, we know he's rationale for doing it i just don't know that i agree but that's a, that's a wonderful thing about scrabble is even with the engines we have available in monte carlo simulation we truly don't ever know there's a big aspect of poker which i'm sure Annette is very comfortable with you know what kind of inference or read can i make after your last play your rack is not random you left certain tiles on there right. And I'm trying to make predictions based on that. Speaking yeah. of Annette and poker, for those who are maybe a little less familiar with her background, Conrad, what do you know about Annette and poker? I know that she plays poker. So I probably fall into that category of I don't know the first thing about her. Okay. Um, Annette is on Wikipedia, and she's one of the rare Scrabblers who are on Wikipedia, not, not for Scrabble. Oh. Not for Scrabble. Dang. Sorry, Conrad. He, Conrad also has a Wikipedia page. Anybody who wins yeah. major tournaments ends up with one of those. But Annette has a Wikipedia page because she's even more famous from her days as a poker player. I think she's basically retired from that at this point. Oh, okay. okay. And is an influencer. Um, she has a makeup tutorial videos and things. But uh, she comes from an extensive background. She's just one of the most incredible poker players I've ever read about. And cool. I mean, just just. I'm not even going to do it. You just read about her on Wikipedia yeah. after this game because so she is so freaking impressive, man. So maybe we pull Paul Phillips out of Scrabble retirement and have him do a Scrabble and poker sesh against the net and see who see who comes out on top. That'd be cool. <laughs> but yeah, I think Annette, more than anybody else, can play the poker portion of this game, uh, make the inferences, make the reads. I mean, she's still a yeah. little bit fresher to the game of Scrabble, but every day... Every tournament she plays, she's picking up more and more and more of these uh, tells and inferences, yeah. and I think I think the future is so bright for her in cool. this game. Anyway, she played, she played when she could have played EW for a few more points, setting up a better spot. But regardless, has picked up her first bingo, which may well be open. Yeah, inducer's not likely to go anywhere off of Annette's rack, and Morris has to decide what to do here. He'd yeah, like well, to break up those double T's, but. W E N D and Devon or Dovin both make sense. This play I love from Morris, though. Yeah. Break up the T's, score very well. V is not the best thing to keep, but if Annette misses a bingo one more time, you know she's in range and you can yeah. whack whatever she tries to open with that defensive V tile. Yeah. Alas, Morris isn't going to get to use it to play defense because Annette's already drawn the bingo this turn and she's likely to drop this down pretty quickly. Just one playable bingo, Inducer making LI and UN. Conrad, how many points does this bingo score? I'm hoping it's 69. Correct. 69 points for Inducer and Annette takes the lead 117 to 69. I don't know why we got Morris on 74 because that's not what he has. But we will get the score adjusted in just a moment. Um, Annette, 117, Morris, 69 after the bingo. And AEE PSTV on Morris's rack. He gets to respond to this in a massive way. Pave on top, making PE and AR. Holding EST is all you could ever ask for. Any Scrabble player sees this play and smiles because uh, that's maybe the best possible leave you can hold, and you get 45 points at the same time. You just insta-play this, I presume. Well, First, they're going to argue about the score of Inducer. Yeah. It's 69, and uh, now I think they've agreed upon it, get their paperwork done. Pave is going to be played very shortly. Yeah, I mean, he might look for bingos, like, you know, in other lexicons, Sept Levo is just blocked. You got you to gotta look. But uh, all things considered, 
not not bad yeah 45 points happy. est yeah uh, cl smith we uh we miss you not being here but he's right in that there are 69 tiles unseen um well prior to prior to inducer Oh, you know what? I messed up the score. Morris doesn't have 69. I put in Vog instead of Vogs because I was so certain Let's Morris go. was going to play Vog. Let's go, streamer. Vogue. All right. So we I'm an doing... F's in chat for the streamer. I'm doing way too much here. Yeah. Okay. So Inducer puts Annette ahead 117 to 74. But Morris is still going to play Paves. He's going to play Paves. Her Pave yeah, yeah. very shortly. Would you like him to play Paves with his his extra S that you didn't... Uh... Uh, Morris likes playing S's for very few points, apparently. So let's see him do it one more time. Just kidding. There's Pave. We all knew it was going to happen. Some Scrabble plays are very, very easy and standard. That was about as bread and butter as it gets. All right, so back to Annette. A-A-I-I -I is not how you want to start a wreck after bingoing um, KRT to go with it, and she's looking to get rid of some of those. There aren't many good options for her to do that, so I'm thinking maybe akin a K-I-N to the N and 9-pin. Just from a sheer like equity perspective, AIRT is a decent leave. You've got a floating E to try to bingo through that probably isn't getting substantially blocked. I think it's reasonable to make a kin here but this is a turn where i'd probably spend some time making sure i do it right making sure i'm not missing something cool uh that kind of stuff okay. anything else jump out to you conrad i'm a little biased because i wanted to block stemware <laughs> oh <my> um, <laughs> which i expect morris to find you would think that there'd be something through the the e making kin like it's oh yeah, like a, that there's not. Yeah, putting that K in front of the I N made by nine pin and Pondo yeah. and coming down. That would be a mammoth score, but not a single playable word in that spot. We yeah. have the engine in front of us and can see it. Annette has no engine and needs to take her time, needs to look for these words. There is one playable word in that spot, but it doesn't put the K where you right. want it. That's Reiki yeah. um, for twenty four, but holds two A's. You'd rather get rid of at least one of those A's. Yeah, I mean, I, I see, I see the benefits of akin. It's also just a good time to not spend a ton of time because it's such a, you know, kind of a cruddy, cruddy rack. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, also like I'm not sure what Annette thinks of Tondos. Um, that's an, a nice thing about uh, that play is like, oh, that's a weird, it's a weird five. You know, Tondi maybe you don't know if it takes on us or not. Akin seems fine to me. I just I've yet to find anything that I like. So Yeah, I just running it through the engine, I looked and I'm like, this is this is all she's got. Like there there have to be plays that make more sense or do more damage or something, but that yeah. that's all she's got. It's kind of a bummer. Yeah. She's just gonna <laughs> spend some time and sit there and like, I gotta find something better, right? Yeah. Sorry, Annette, not today. I think uh shout out to to Chris Tallman, who I believe moved to New Zealand to be with a Kiwi named Tara. And and that can play the her bingo of Kiwi Tara right now. Very good. So if, if either of you are out there watching, I hope you're having fun in New Zealand land. Yeah, that I I didn't know any of that had happened. And then I saw him <laughs> post on Facebook a couple weeks ago and I'm like, you did what, Chris? Yeah, oh, you did. freaking awesome. Yeah. Okay, good for yeah. you. Jeez. Yeah. You got room for one more? Right. All right. So KEA, she's opting to knock out a dangerous spot, score a little bit more. Double eyes on her leave can go one of two ways. Yeah. Let's find out. If she draws one more, she's in big trouble. Yeah. I mean, the, you know, unbeknownst, obviously, Morris's tiles, A T I I R is a little better with an E in space. Right. Yeah. She can't know that E is going to get hit by Morris for right. 98 points right now. Yeah. Sometimes your rack is oh, enormous. Yeah. I was like, has warm has Morris seen this? But he was grinning ear to ear as yeah. he was tracking. He's yeah. definitely seen this. Ninety eight points coming yeah. down. Uh, the only playable bingo for Morris out of this rack is Stemware, and yeah. he's going to crush that spot. And that does pick up a bingo, but I yeah. don't think it's going to play. I mean, you you can play the word from the AR, yeah, from but the AR, uh, yeah. uh, Annette's picked into aridity but it is not going to fit on this board. No bingos are going to play on this board. No diunitary? I don't know. Uh, no. What? <laughs> no. Huh? So uh, 
aridity from the AR, maybe something she can consider. A Y plays next to Stemware right now, knock out that big spot, but it holds double eyes for the second time. Yeah. Not sure you're looking to do that here if you're Annette. Again, not many great options for her for her on this turn. Um, and look at what Morris picked up. Wow. Two spots. Wow. So Morris to bingo again. If he's certain of Tondo, or he can play it to that as uh, yeah. the the bingo is Santour, S A N T O U R, out of this rack. Do you know the Collins anagram? No, I don't because I don't play that lexicon. All right. Well, it's Rousant. Now you know. I just got to get in your head a cool. little bit. Thank you very much. I appreciate You're that. You're welcome. So Santour is an alternate spelling of Santir, which is a Persian dulcimer. Today I learned. All right, so uh, Centaur is a bingo. Morris is definitely going to know. For those a little less familiar with competitive Scrabble, uh, Morris has what we call a baby bingo. Bingos with a lot of very common tiles and good proportions and combinations. Um, there's no way a player of Morris's caliber or pretty much any player in the Division One area misses this bingo. Unless you haven't played since before 2006, because it was added in 2006. Today I learned something else about Centaur as well. Thank you, Conrad. Yeah, I, re I remember very useless things. Better than not remembering anything at all, I suppose. I suppose so. So AY for 31 makes sense. Aridity, if she spots it, makes sense. And you're going to be honed in on that word. I'm sure Annette saw the seven in this rack. And uh, she's going to take the points here. G-I-I-R-T, leave. I think you're okay doing this because there's only three unseen eyes and a good number of E's that can get you to a good rack. But as Annette just showed, just because you draw a bingo doesn't mean it's going to fit on this board. Right. But with that floating S, it really should. Aridity not playing kind of is unfair. Yeah. I guess not every uh, word that ends in like an X or a Y or some plural is going to take an S. We're not inventing too many new plurals. But she does pick up a blank, which is That which is, is even nice. better. I mean, obviously she's going to be down by a lot, but... Centaurs comes down, and while Annette finds the blank, she's not going to be able to bingo it's again. A turn this turn, now. and it's that's a bummer. At this point, I think you're probably looking to open this board a little bit and just keep some life. You're going to need some help from the tile bag at this point to have any chance. But it's not so far out of reach. There's so much, so much stuff that can still happen. You can't give up yet. Yeah, I'm looking to try to keep that eye and nine pin available for maybe a high scoring double mm -hmm. double down the road yeah. you're going to need a big play to get back into this one yeah. and i'm looking to pull morris's eyes elsewhere with some kind of other board opening play maybe petit p-e-t-i-t -E down from that p-e obviously opening up the big back e hook keeping this board wide and open down the road that makes some sense to do but annette has to create some other opportunities on this board right conrad yeah she's gonna want to sooner rather than later it's gonna be it's gonna be hard i mean the nice thing about this board is there's not any really good scoring spots usually when you uh are winning you want to have lots of good scoring spots open and not too many good spots there it's more like bingo or die at the moment um so that could eventually play into annette's favor if morris decides to start blocking or something but she really needs to bingo Certainly next turn. Uh, unfortunately, not this turn, but. Uh, just a series of unfortunate racks for Annette here, where it's like you just don't have many good options over and over and over. She's been in trouble since Inducer, and it's, it's tough to watch it happen, but it happens to everybody. Yeah. I think we're going to see the lower half of the board exposed no matter what she does. I think even a play like OD and Dirt uh, accomplishes what you want in terms of opening volatility, unlocking new sections. I don't know. There's a lot of things she can do here, but got to open something, I think. There's no reason not to, especially knowing that you, well, assuming you probably are a little bit closer to a bingo than your opponent, so... Yeah, you have to assume you are at this point, but, you know, after Morris bingoed last time, he drew another bingo, so can't get in your own head about that, but... Yeah. It is what it is. And we I, now see Morris has a, another solidly good rack. So Yeah, yeah, he's drawing a lot of stuff right now. Like with Zest and Chaos alone is like a thousand points. Yeah. Hmm. You haven't even come up with anything I like. 
Yeah, I mean, she's looking at dirt, just kind of sitting there like, surely there's something better. Surely the guys on stream see something brilliant. And it's like, nope. Yeah. And, three, and three turns in a row, there's just nothing nothing good to do. And dirt is done after that, right? Zested is a few points. Zested is, uh, yeah, GG at this yeah. point. I mean, Annette can't know more right. has yeah, Zested. Yeah, and sure. you can't play paranoid defense when you're losing by 120. You have to take your shot, but yeah. she's going to get crushed. Morris is nodding and smiling again, so. If you're going to be playing on stream, you'd like to draw a bingo and then a second bingo and then zested for 84, and uh, that's what's going to happen here. Wasting absolutely no time. Yeah. I think we're going to have a rather lengthy break after this one, if this yeah. is any indicator. Yeah. Goodness. Sorry, Annette. It happens. After a morning of really nice games, hoping we got some nice games this afternoon. This one, unfortunately, is uh, turning into a blowout certainly through uh no fault of Annette's but yeah, Mars playing good. pretty solid so far what I love about Scribble is there are always things you can question things you could have considered doing differently I don't know that KO is necessarily a mistake in as much as a stylistic decision but like go back and look at that again and see um what what maybe could have been done differently I think playing on Wii instead of you does a couple different things, but I, I wouldn't say Annette's done anything wrong mm -hmm. this game. She's just dying. Uh, well, okay, I would say drawing an X when you're trying to bingo is probably not the best thing to do. Unless she'd drawn an X bingo. Correct. But fix is, you know, all things considered, but... Yeah, fix plays on top of Zested, FE, and ID. It's like 39, 37 points, opens a new bingo line. Like, it does what you need it to do. Yeah. Unfortunately for her, uh oh morris what did you do worst case he would have mohel right above it oh man uh morris just drawn exceptional right yeah. now this is this is special putting on a clinic i did not know that mohel had a now valid anagram and TWL. Yeah, Mohel or H O L M E both play yeah. on top. Morris gets a little test. Have you been studying these fives recently? But I'm sure he has. He's a smart guy. And well, he'll know Mohel as a as a human being, or as a as a, as a Jewish the, being. The Jewish I suppose. Being, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was going for that. Is fix it better? Is fix it better? I don't think so here because I like how you create opportunities to play seven letter bingos very often above fix. Yeah, it's two extra points if you play it, but every tile you play, you're getting a little closer to the end of the game and you want to make sevens fit as often as possible. You're going to need not one, but two, probably even three bingos at this point. So uh, fix, I think, is definitely the right decision for Annette in this situation. Yep. And finally, Annette makes a good decision to draw good tiles, and I think we'll likely see a bingo from her next turn. Well, Mar Mars is going to play Mohel. So that's going to block, the obviously, the big spot, but... Wow, and that's just going to have one playable bingo after Mohel, and I it's actually not her best play. The best play is absolutely disgusting, and I'll let yeah. chat figure this one out. It's a non-bingo, but there is one playable bingo on the board for Annette. It's a tasty one. It is. I think it actually used to be a sticky S back in the day, like OWL1 or something. Yeah, the definition. Yeah. It's a, it's like a, a fruit cake or something. A custardy dessert. Yeah. Uh, Matthew Tonicliff has found the awesome play, extending her own play of fix to fix a teeth. Uh, it's forty nine points. Holds Elo blank. That is so awesome. But yeah. that is an incredibly high level play. You'd never even think to look there. You're just trying to find a bingo at this point and move on with the game. Yeah. Um, the one bingo. I'll go ahead and spoil it. Last chance to click mute. It is through the U in Inducer. It is Clafouti, Clafouti, C-L-A-F-O-U-T-I, just 64 points, but that's all she's got here. And I have to imagine there's uh, other plays than Fixative that are better than Bingoing, right? Uh, Philo, F-I-L-O, on top of Mohel making IMID, LOX, and OH is like, I guess you can do that if you want, but the game is, you know, at this point, I need to play a bingo, I need to draw that next blank, get another bingo, you know, if I draw Injector from the I and 9 bin, I have a chance, but that needs to happen now. Yeah. So I think, I, I, I don't know, I don't know what you do, I mean, Fixative is awesome, but yeah. I, I, at this point, you just kind of lose, you're down 160, and there's only 
like 27 tiles unseen and yeah. I think you just lose. For those just tuning in, this is the Crescent City Cup, one of the largest competitive Scrabble tournaments of the year. We are broadcasting round 13. This is a 20-game tournament. We'll be here for all 20 games, and we got a bonus game yesterday as well. Yeah. Uh, Matt Canick joined by Conrad Bassett-Bouchard, a former North American champion and one of the great minds in the game. I'm excited to be here with him. And uh, I, don't, I don't know why they put me on the headset. I guess they didn't have anybody better, but hey, here we are. Um, and uh, we're watching Morris get a huge victory. Morris has won this tournament before. Annette has not. She's relatively new to the Scrabble scene, and Morris is going to be very excited to knock off the player currently in first place in the field and make everything interesting for everybody. Yeah, yeah, it's important for Morris being two games back. You know, when you're playing the person in first, it's it feels just a little more important to win, or it hurts a little more if you lose. So you can tell he's definitely happy to win this game is very very uh positive demeanor yeah. i mean morris has a pretty positive demeanor no matter what there are yeah. players who really kick themselves when they're down or losing morris not really one of those guys so much and yeah. uh, that's what everybody loves about morris just a just a great dude great dude he learned yesterday that he's a twunk good yeah teaching yeah. people some new words yeah or non-words depending yeah. is that good in collins Twonk? No. Oh, come on. Boo. Boo. Remember you said you were going to switch over immediately if it was good? And then it wasn't. Then it wasn't. Here we are. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. What are you going to do? Speaking of what are you going to do, uh, you know, Annette not much of a tile mover, I guess. So as I say that, she starts to move some stuff. I see Philo spelled out, also a very tasty word. I'm assuming it means the same thing as the other phylos maybe it doesn't i have no idea maybe it's got to be the dough right i think yeah. it is oh pushed a button and my crescent city crescent started lighting up oh, we're gonna have seizures if yeah, we cut to the commentator oh cam now okay gotta turn oh, it off it would have been pretty funny ah man fix a teeth i've never played that word but i've seen it a bunch of times and mm, be so killer i wonder how many players make that play what percentage oh i bet a uh, muffin with tentacle would get it if i'm in it too i don't even think i'd look through that u for bingos i look at that e in stemware and then i look at the i and nine pin and if i don't see anything i would i don't know that i'd look through the u and even if i did i don't know that i'd see clafuti like that's 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 something that's a hard one i'd miss it well you know it happens it does happen yeah um, yeah, I mean, like, part of with Fixative, like, you know, maybe you would see it before Mohel, but he played it so fast, like, you might, because she had kept IT, like, may have already been thinking about it. It's not, not impossible, but, um, that's a killer, yeah. that's a killer play, but, yeah. yeah. All right, I think this is maybe foil. Picking up, she's about to play OL. <laughs> Let's not play OL. All right, going backwards the other way. Certainly an, an equity play. I think Philo would be a little better, but. I drop an OF. She's almost certain to bingo next turn. Of course, I say that. I'm sure I just put the commentator hex on her. She can you draw did, like yeah. II or almost even certainly. II bingos with initial. I don't yeah. think it plays here, yeah. but, you know, uh, some nightmare draws will still miss. We've got 244 to 422 as the score right now. A little symmetry. I'm out of things to say because there's nothing else to do in this game except end it. Yeah, and of course, Morris has some, you know, obviously a blank, but in other ways, terrible rack with not much to do. So I guess, I don't know, maybe you just start mucking up the board here, I suppose. Do you play Awa and Akin and Ah uh -uh and set up your B? That seems decent. I don't know. You can do anything at this point. If you draw like Morris did the first several turns, you just kind of make words and win the game. I just wonder if there's a way for him to like effectively like BEAU is probably not quite worth it, but is there a another bingo drawn by Annette through the U? And this one uh, habitual find for top players. I was gonna go with halibuts, but yeah, I agree. Oh halibuts, yeah, oh, tasty. Yeah. We need to have like food themed prizes at this tournament next year. I might even pony up some of the own my own money that I don't have yeah. in order to make that happen. 
Um, I see hittable and tithable as well. Yeah, she'll, she'll bingo. Unless Morris wants to be a true spoiler and play Beanie burning the blank for like 12, 14. Burn the blank and play Tibia or something. Yeah. Could be a flex. But uh, yeah, kind of nothing wrong with dropping the two A's. Can't, you know, there's no uh, no bingo lane with Takin, so. Yeah, I like I like being able to set up the B underneath and then maybe the T, the T in front of a Ken for the next turn. Just open up scoring spots. When you're ahead, as long as you score 30 points a turn, you're probably going to win the game. It's like, yeah. well, score 30 points a turn and don't get triple tripled on yeah. and you'll probably win. So you just want scoring opportunities on the board when you're ahead. I also don't hate uh, Bay. Bay is good, right? No. Bay is not TWL? Hey, next, oh, next. Oh, Bao is TWL. Yeah, it's soon. soon. Okay. I would say Bay looks like a great play, but yeah, I, uh... I nice think, I think we're getting game. it. Oh, he's he's setting up A. Good. Yeah. So Morris just obstructing the E, playing a little spoiler here, but hey, that's what you do when you're ahead. So uh, now I think we're going to look at maybe one of those U bingos, habitual, or halibuts. Um, the only playable bingos now for Annette, since Morris took away the other options. Yeah, I see here comes halibuts, which is a yeah, a yeah, nice nice find. I'm playing just for the halibut. Yeah, just for the halibut. All right, so Halibut's coming down, and Morris, A-A-B-E-E-R, blank. Is he going to have some, like, miracle bingo? I don't think so. Oh, my God, he does. Oh, my God. Okay, Morris going to bingo one more time, just because. And Annette, I bet, you know, just the way this game has gone for her, she's going to get destroyed with a QGG draw here. GGQ, move on. Oh, wow. Okay, I see it. Now. You see yeah. Morris's bingo? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, not, I, yeah, I was like, there's nothing for the W. Oh, right, there's enough space with the H. Yep, I definitely see it. All right, so I'll, I'll go ahead and spoil it. Last chance to hit mute. Uh, through the H in Halibuts is Bearhead for Morris. 76 points. Yeah. Only playable bingo for him. Yeah, ben Benji would like to have a word with you. <laughs> we got, already got the, the Rogaine the ad Rogaine. yesterday, right? So now yeah. we can get the Bearhead. Yeah. One thing that's so interesting is, you know, so many of the tournament Scrabble, especially Division One tournament Scrabble players, are so established in the community, and they've been doing this for 20, 30, 40 years. But going back and looking at some pictures of some of the older retired guys when they were my age and <laughs> seeing how they've aged, some very gracefully, some very not gracefully. Uh, I've got a lot of bare heads now, but... Mm. I see what you did there. Those pictures are fun to watch. You were you were set, setting yourself up. Oh, the whole time. The whole time. I, All right, not a dad yet, but I am full of dad jokes. Mm, yeah. Yeah. It's important. I mean, dad jokes are in now. Like, it's great. They always should have been, but now like it's actually like trendy to make dorky jokes. Wanderer 15 has been doing this for 40 years. It's true. Wanderer's uh, 15 going on 55 this year. Very impressed. Cesar is um, aging ungracefully. No, no arguments there. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and look who, look who's in <laughs> chat. To... Which, which part, Joel? Did you do you resemble the aging gracefully or the aging not so gracefully? I'll let you answer that one. He's just gracefully. He's, he's, he's really he's, just grateful. He's not, he's not aging. <laughs> but Cesar, that is 190 pounds of pure, pure twunk energy, right? Can I go back and talk about what an awesome commentator I had? What did I say Annette was going to draw? I said she was going to draw GGQ. And she did that and more. Impressive. Yeah. Thank you, Annette, for making me look so smart. Yeah. That's killer. God, just yeah. when it rains, it pours. Joggle? Joggle. All right, so... Or QI. If you play Joggle, you eat the Q for sure. If you play QI, uh -huh. you might eat the J anyway. If Morris finds Bearhead. Yeah. God, Morris is going to get so many points off a of wreck. He's going to score 550 or 570 if he finds this. Come on, Morris. We're expecting this out of you. Yeah, he said he's been studying words. Prove it, bud. Come on. 36 years at the game, and I didn't start until 35. Man, I started at 12. How many years am I going to get before this? Game drives me crazy. Oh, Morris. Okay. Oh, sad, well, sad boy. He, he blocked. Uh, yeah, he blocked QI, QI just jungle. just to be that guy. He blocked Joggle as well. Yeah, okay, yeah. GGQ. 
And he played it on this side and not on the other side. You gotta guess he's trying to knock out the cue. He's got the blank if yeah. he draws it. He's yeah. just trying to maximize his spread. Very good. Very good job, Morris. But also, come on. You gotta kick her while she's down like this. Wow. We're getting the unfiltered math this afternoon. And I'm the one who had a nice big ghost in the machine double IPA on draft at lunch. Well, I tried to split a pitcher with Josh Sokol, but Josh is playing the tournament and I'm not. So uh, yeah, I saw, you I know saw where him. most of that pitcher went. I saw him with Sam Rosen as well. And we know that um, Sam is up there. He's in contention. He's uh, not going to be sharing a pitcher with you. I got a pitcher for a table of eight people and I had to drink three quarters of it. Oh, okay. As, as a win in my book, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying I to be generous, yeah, and uh, instead, just, instead we get unfiltered mad on commentary. You so know, you're welcome. Someone's got to do it. Annette did draw egg. I yeah, think she's true, did, right? Yeah. yeah, yep. Egg for the content. You play jogger, and then let Morris no brainer play J E E. Oh, maximizing spread is the bingo. He just probably missed the bingo. Oh, certainly, yeah. yeah. I mean, you play Bearhead if you have it, but if you're not going to bingo, this is, I think, the best thing to do for Morris. And it's so unstandard. So many players would just not even think to make a play like this, and that's why yeah. Conrad and I yeah, love a, watching Morris classic, so much. That was a good Morris play right there. Like, like perfect Morris play. Yeah, yeah. Perfect Morris play. Just demonstrates who he is and what he brings to the game. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm, I'm stoked to, stoked to see it. All right, so Egg, obviously the best play here. I don't really know what else to say. I don't, I don't have much to say either. We've already picked out our matchup for the next game, so I'll go ahead and tease that. We are going to bring everybody's favorite Joshua Sokol Rubenstein back on stream and making his stream debut for the first time ever. Is someone I got to know very well this summer. Graciously hosted me at his house once or twice a week to meet up uh, for games while I was living in Philly. Uh, Ed Roth is going to be his opponent. So Ed's had a great morning, had a big run. Poked his head up into the sea of contenders, and he's going to run right into Josh Sokol on stream in the next game. But I'm excited for it. Ed and I had some really great games this summer, and he's a great dude. Yeah, he's someone I've actually really not run across at all in my career. I know his rating has certainly gone up in recent years. Seems to be kind of a one of the highest rated players in the Philly area these days. Yep. Certainly of the more active players. I don't, you know. Scott Appel, I'm sure, is kind of the undisputed champ of the area, but he doesn't play all, yeah, all that much. It depends on what you categorize the area as to, because it's like all of a sudden Will Anderson's pretty close, and yeah, you know, mm, okay, that dude. I, is, I don't know if Philly should get that kind of credit. To me, it's all one big <laughs> megalopolis. I live in Texas, where everything is 45 minutes away from everything yeah. in your own city, and everything else is four hours away from everything else. So yeah, and God. being from the West Coast, where sure the Bay Area is huge and LA is huge and whatever, but Every every big area is still five hours apart, three hours apart, whatever. All right, so Annette's playing more, uh, Jogger. I think she understands she's basically just going to have to eat this cue at this point because Morris did his Morris thing last turn. And uh, Morris now just trying to maximize his spread, find the proper end game. You have to wonder, okay, if she's eating a cue, do I dink and dunk and go one tile at a time since I know she's going to be forced to pass? Oh, uh, sure, you have to. I don't think Quackle can figure this out. I'm assuming you play J-E-E -E first. But... Yeah, probably. J-E-E. -E. Quackle spat out Egypt through the J, burning the blank. But I think you want to go slow here and yeah. dink and dunk and just maximize Annette's pain. There's something so satisfying, too, about like making your opponent actually say pass and hit the block. <laughs> like, if you get that opportunity, even if it's not the right end game, it's just fun. And then on the other end, it just makes you cry. Yeah. Well, Morris has plenty of time to come up with the best end game. I do believe Makondo could, in fact, figure this end game out. I do do agree with that. Um. Oh, this is what we can do during a boring end game. We can talk about Matt going to Hood River. Again. Oh yeah. Yeah. How oh, awesome. Um, in chat, please tell uh, Matt to go to Hood River. Uh, yeah, somebody Venmo me four hundred dollars and I'll, and I'll be there in a heartbeat. Yeah, um, fourteen Domino. Let's um, let's uh, yeah. As long as it's as long as it's offline and you're not making us go broke, let's uh, not give away all of our proprietary technology for free, please. Are you gonna take Matt to the river? Drop him in the water. 
Sounds good. You know what I'm really bummed about is nightlife at Scrabble tournaments has been getting better and better. That's not a bummer. That's awesome. But there's been a number of tournaments now that have started opening up karaoke after hours. And there's a lot of musical talent in the Scrabble community, like yeah. a ton of musical talent. But I love karaoke, and oh, I'm yet yeah. to be at a tournament that karaoke has also been at. So I've seen some videos. Some of y'all are really talented. Some of y'all are really loud. I fall into that ladder camp. Not great. But... I've karaoke with you before. We had a great time. You have karaoke yeah, with me before. Not a that was awesome. Person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is my go-to karaoke song? Well, I sing the modified version of CeeLo Green's Forget You. Um, you know what that one is. I'm not going to say it on Twitch right now. Forget, but, uh, forget You. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that's, that's one of my go-tos. I do a lot of, like, kryptonite. Um, well, you are a Superman. I'm not a Superman, oh. but I do go crazy. Yeah. Uh, I am a... Uh... I try by Macy Gray. That's kind of my signature. I made Kyle Mooney laugh from a SNL. He was at a karaoke bar coincidentally with us. It's my, honestly one of my claims to fame in life. Um, love doing duets of a uh, share, like a uh, doing a duet version of Believe is a lot of fun. Oh, that's awesome! Um, yeah. uh, you absolutely tore up the metal in the Lincoln Park at our. Oh yeah! Oh, I mean, I oh, it was incredible. Yeah. Faint, faint by Lincoln Park is super fun. So you get to rap, you get to sing, and you get to scream. It was. Um, I just. I knew Conrad was going to pull out some metal, some Lincoln Park, something like that, but I didn't expect him to be so good at it. Like, whoa, my jaw hit the floor. Yeah. So, you know, it let out a lot of anger all at oh, once, but it was oh, awesome. It's great. Speaking of music and Scrabble and all that, uh, Ed is one guy. When I went to his house for the first time, Ed Roth, um, he always plays music and he's got some really cool music. He taught me a lot of new artists, a lot of older artists I hadn't heard of before. And I think that's that's something pretty cool. Let's get some some light music playing in the background during Scrabble games to give oh, us something to do it. while Morris obliterates us over the board. What I would do to be able to listen to music while I play Scrabble, and I don't just mean listening to the final countdown in a mall in Thailand, but it would just be so nice to be able to, like, I would just be so much more relaxed. It's, what am I going to do, cheat? Yeah, right. I mean... <sighs> FFS, man. I wish. We wish. Morris, Morris played Ire, uh, some some end game that he's maybe figured out. I don't know. I'm not going to try to figure out what he's doing. I'm saving my brain power for games that are actually interesting. I th yeah, I think he was continuing to set up Kahir. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm assuming he... I mean, why would you not use that J then? Oh, yeah, there's no J-O-L. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know. I mean, you've been a musician throughout your life as well. I guess not as much lately. Do you still bang on the big drums anymore? Or? Once I have a little more money, like I am absolutely buying myself an electronic drum kit. Uh, I, I love drumming. I love making music. I'm maybe not the most talented right now, um, but I do love to drum. So that's, that's on the short list of things I'll buy myself when I have money. Hood River is higher up on that list, but yeah. one, day, one day a drum kit's coming in. Yeah. I had a dream not a dream, like a, a vision where I enhanced Scrabble streams by asking a bunch of different really talented Scrabble folks if we could just play some of the music they've made in between the games during the downtime. I still hope we can make that happen. Ah, uh, Cabal. Okay, that's what it was. Okay. Cabalette. Yeah, Cabaletta, uh, yeah. Um, so, you know, and there's just so many talented people out there who yeah. make some awesome content, make some awesome music, make some awesome whatever. Um, you know, Jeff Teveno has his project Trimbles of Fortune that's just incredible when he does it all himself, basically, yeah. except the drums. Uh, Fern Lindzen is a oh, rather yeah. notable uh, jazz musician in the Toronto area. There's so many more I could name right now. Yeah. But, uh, you know, if anybody is interested in giving some royalty free music to the stream and let us play stuff between hours, uh, I think that would be something really cool to put together for people uh, I don't for think, the community. Yeah. I don't think any of my music is quite good enough. I mean, I would happily just like jam on the drums but this is norwegian annette that is a poker sensation and while she's not doing much poker anymore uh she is in first place at the scrabble tournament although yeah. after this loss she'll drop down i believe to second or third unless josh soko loses but yes this is the one and the same that annette and she's taken her talents to a new game and taken it by storm she's only been playing for a couple of years and already leading a great field uh, this NWO division of the Crescent City Cup. 
Shall we bring it over to the, uh, the the player mic? Do you want to bring Morris out here to talk about this blowout, or we just want to... Let's cut to overhead mic, and I'm going to run in and grab Morris in the interim. Let's hear what these players have to say. 5-3, 3-5-2. to say about this game. Yeah. I you still missed anything spread, right? that was done to left this, huh? I might have missed things at the end. I pulled the blank yeah, after possessed one. So oh, I'm more wow. like a key blank. Oh. So, like, if it was I blank, I have homily or something like that, right? Um, but, oh, that was but, I mean, this scored so much. I looked for, like, a few through nine. I looked through nines and stuff. And for, like, the E yeah. and the I. Were so even if there is like that sports. Yeah, exactly. Keep playing, but uh, don't want to yeah. uh, Is Overstat with, how do you spell the S T part? It's V R E S T. Hello. Hey. Destroy. How many things do I miss? Nothing. You just, really? You just, you just, you just, you just, you just, you like, that was such a terrible Okay, you, you, actually know, have, you have one bingo through you. Oh, I you know, I'm there, but I couldn't find it. Okay. Uh, it. Clifaudy? Oh, Clifaudy? That's it's a cool word. Yeah, no, it's nuts. Uh, you actually have one sick, disgusting play. I never would have seen it, but F-I-X. A T I F on that rack, like oh, nine, six, yeah. non bingo. Wow, oh my God, that's beautiful. Six. But I mean, like, who sees that? Wow, yeah. that's beautiful. Get really your paper good like, yeah. Did you like how did the stream like that? Wow, did we stopped paying attention. Did you appreciate my name? We did, yeah. Oh, chat loved that. Yeah, so. <laughs> um, if you don't mind, after you get the paperwork done, uh, step and do a little headset interview. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, and uh, what's your player number? 22. 22. Yeah. Uh, so what's the difference? It's... Too many to count. <laughs> for me, yeah. Yeah, calculator. Uh, 538 minus 186. Yeah. Better luck. Thanks. I've had pretty good luck. Probably, like, like, yeah. probably not a ton to say about this game for these two, but um, fun to get a chance to see Annette playing again. Had a couple of amazing poker players over the years come into the Scrabble world, and cool to see her doing that as well. Kind of, I guess, the triple threat with the the makeup content as well, and that's it's good stuff. I do you think we're going to have Morris coming out here in just a minute to talk to Matt about uh, how the game went? We're looking forward to the next game as well, hopefully a little bit closer. I've noticed um, in general that TWL games seem to be a lot more blowouts than the, the Collins games thus far, but uh, let's get Morris here with a headset on, and we're going to cut to the uh, commentator cam. So, um, yeah, what, a, what do you think? Obviously, this you know, was kind of a, a blowout, but... Uh... Yeah, no, I, it was nice to uh, have an easy game. I felt like I was having uh, a lot of hard games for yeah. uh, most of this morning and such, so... That's always a relief. Uh, Annette's also a very slick player. And so yeah. when it's like a closer game, you really need to be on your toes with her. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought, you know, pretty easy. I think the Vogs turn was, uh, I was happy with that, but I'm not sure if others would have not played the S. Yeah, I, mean, I would say if you were talking to the other person, it would probably be a much uh, louder in your face commentary, but walk us through it. I didn't feel too strongly one way or the other, but uh, what were you thinking? Yeah, so for that turn specifically, I just thought, um, you know, STOT is a better leave than TOT, but that's just such a high variance uh, spot that I'm opening up if I don't play the S, that in the scenarios where it doesn't work out, I really have to <laughs> claw back. And it just eliminates a lot of worst case scenarios, I thought, and I'd rather try to, you know, outgrind in it throughout the rest of the game rather than on turn two or three have to catch up the rest of the game i, I have yeah confidence in myself to kind of gradually yeah <laughs> extend a lead yeah, so. yeah uh and then yeah nine pin versus pinion we were a little surprised i mean nine pin's still a good play but Ian. oh no... uh pinion 
Yeah, I oh opinion. <laughs> no, oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Uh, I actually I didn't even consider opinion. That was sloppy of me. Um, yeah, no. Uh, I considered I and none is good, right? Hmm? I consider I own own. Yeah, I own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I considered that briefly, but I'd rather just take six extra points. I figured um, because like. My logic was keeping I N as a leave, especially when there are fewer ends and I's out. Uh, that upweights the value of that mm -hmm. compared yeah. to an average bag. So I did consider I N on. I didn't consider opinion though. That that okay. was that was over an oversight on my part. I think the play we were most impressed with was um, Abba. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was a fun one. Um, I knew, like, I tried to see a way to block all of the. Uh, the I for QI, and then both the S and Santors and the H and Halibuts, because those could play QI since an I was unseen to me too. Yeah. Um, I didn't see that immediately. So my logic was, well, if I'm going for Q sticks, I have to hope the I's in the bag. Um, obviously, I have the blink, so that gives me flexibility to not <laughs> accidentally Q stick myself. Uh, and, uh, and so the other thing is, so if I hope the I's in the bag, it would be good to also play the extra tile above instead of like ba or aa it, it's good to obstruct the a since there were no more a's left also ah takes a and a back hook and s and an i back hook so um so yeah it was it was useful if i'm assuming that i will get the remaining i mm. to not to limit Annette's ability to do that too so it was block the q spot if she doesn't have the i and then make it as hard for her to play in that open spot as much yeah. as possible. If I told you you had a bingo on that play, what would you say? Um, I wouldn't necessarily be surprised. I like briefly looked for nines for a few turns, and uh, I realized that if I Q-stick her, it's going to be about as good as a bingo anyways. Yep. <laughs> and I didn't want to waste too much mental energy at this point. It's a yep. long tournament, and I didn't get great sleep last night. So yeah, um, kind of pick and choose your battles there. Yeah. Obviously, it would be cool to flex on stream with a nine, but eh. It was an eight. Oh, it was an eight. It's okay, though. It's okay. You have plenty of hair on your head. Where no, was... No Rogaine needed for you. <laughs> Wait, where... The age... The H? Where? Which H? H and we're, pull, we're pulling up the... Um... Uh Oh, wait. There were bingos that... F I didn't realize that lane fit. <laughs> <laughs> I actually... Honestly, I didn't until uh, Matt had said, oh, hey, by the way, there's a, there's a bingo. I'm like, oh, yeah, there's there's room there. Yeah, um, wait, yeah I didn't even... Uh, okay, so... Oh, Bearhead. Jeez. <laughs> but yeah, to your point, good. ABBA works out you know just as well. So it's not, you know... Yeah, no, no, that's definitely a miss. Um, I, I should be more precise. Uh, but yeah, and I, I would like to think if I didn't have such a cushion at that point, I would <laughs> sort for of sure. Yeah, for sure, yeah. look harder and actually realize, oh, yeah, <laughs> seven tiles can fit there. Yeah. Um, I think, but yeah, I think Abba probably worked out better. So yeah, in this case, <laughs> yeah, out of curiosity, did I have the best endgame sequence uh, once that happened or? We're not sure because Quackle, I don't really think, can pull stuff out like that. Yeah. I'm sure it was, I mean, it was definitely right to wait, like to take a few turns, um, but I'm not sure what the actual absolute best was. Yeah. I mean, all I was doing there was I was blocking RE and bar yeah. uh, for her first. Yeah. And then, yeah. And I just tried to see for the other remaining tiles how to maximize that across the yeah. board. So I might have not been perfect there, oh, but. But uh, I think it was probably pretty close. Yeah, yeah. No, an overall pretty well played game, and uh, an important one to win. You're two games behind the leader and now, one playing the leader, and yeah, now just one back. So that's a uh, feeling good going into the going into the next game. Anything else you want to well, to chat or? I guess yeah. To that point, I try to not worry too much about the standings and these yeah. things. Like for me to win the tournament, I just need to play well yeah. <laughs> and get the right stuff regardless right like i need other stuff to go right too probably but yeah, yeah. um I, I can't waste too much energy with yeah. that so well you are a uh champion of this event in the past i i have to imagine like one of your one of your biggest wins right i think it's my only d1 win. Oh, only win. okay i genuinely yeah, yeah. I, I don't i don't yeah. know I, I was you know sitting not far away in table eight hell when, <laughs> when you won so more interested in what was going on then um so yeah three more games uh Keep yeah. keep it up. I'm sure we'll see you on there again. But uh, we're gonna welcome. maybe yeah yeah. No, gonna... I I I will say 
I think an advantage of having won this tournament before, it's like, okay, I was eight and four the year I won too. Yeah. So that's a level of comfort where like, you know what? If it works out, it works out. It has worked down in the past once <laughs> this yeah. way. It might not, but um, I, I think that is an advantage for being able to take your mind off it a bit. Yeah. Cool. Well, go get them in the last three games. We're going to play our next game. Thanks for chatting. Awesome. And uh, I'm sure we'll see you on table one again soon. Sounds great. Thanks, Connor. Yeah.